Christians are seen as priest kings, and there is, if I have understood things correctly, the idea of them ruling over the nations after the new heavens and earth are ushered in and God takes up his residence on earth. Who will rule whom? Why is there a need for such a rulership if all are resurrected Christians and the earth is full of the glory of the Lord and sin and death no longer exist? A couple of things here. You know, the, the, the question at the end there presumes that rule uh, is somehow describing the restraint of sin or the restraint of something that's ready to burst forth and ruin everything again. I don't think that you have those conditions in the new earth, but that's just a general response. Uh, more broadly, I would say the rulership, it, this is a metaphor. Okay, These are all metaphors. These are ways of, of describing the relationship we will have in the new earth with, you know, with Jesus you know, in, in that place. There's no need involved. Okay, so a word like need is not appropriate. God doesn't need anything. He doesn't need co-rulers. He doesn't need the church now. He doesn't need a divine council. But he uses those things so that his created beings get to participate with him in enjoying and working with him to either further or maintain that which he has made. Again, for our benefit, not for his. And God has no lack. He has no need. So, you know, I think that's the way we need to think about this. You know, God does things in, in, in a way that involves us for our sake, that we get to participate. Rulership is about participation and governance or stewardship with our king. And since the New Testament describes unequal reward for all those who are saved, it would seem that at least part of that refers to hierarchical governance. So I think the idea of hierarchy is there. It's implied, again, by the, the inequality of reward for all those who, who do have eternal life. We're not talking about salvation here. So I think it's, it's inferred or implied that there's going to be some sort of hierarchical participation, that that's going to be part of the reward package, if we want to put things like that. But again, that's not about restraining evil. It's not, it's not about filling a lack in God. It's about us getting to participate, you know, with the Lord, you know, being made co-rulers, co-heirs, and you know, all this language in Revelation 2 and 3 and, and lots of other places, that, that that's what it's about. So, Beyond that, we're not given any details about how this works. We're not given any specific job descriptions or anything like that. So, again, when when I run up against that wall, I don't speculate and call it teaching. I just don't speculate. Uh, I, I try to just take things as far as the text allows us to go and, and just leave it there.